to rock the Opera House once again. We're so lucky to have him. Joel Hoekstra, Brandon Gibbs, Hoekstra, Gibbs, let's go! It's ridiculous. We did it last year. You guys blew it up. You guys have blew it up a little bit more. And um, it is absolutely our honor to play for you guys. And thank you. Thank you to the staff. The moment we got here, they were giving us hugs. They were giving us beers. I might have had a whiskey. I don't know. But they're great people. And you guys got a wonderful venue here. So before we start, I want to give a, a big hats off to... Uh, this whole entire building and their staff. Would you do it for me, please? So, uh, our, our sound engineer, uh, Craig, we have, Joel and I have been working with him extensively, and um, how long, Joel? Uh, about two hours. <laughs> we love him. You guys are expecting something like 30 years or some shit. No, about two hours. So everyone make some noise for his patience for us long hairs. So I'd like to, I'd like to start the gig with um, just letting you guys know exactly what we're about. And uh, so we're going to do some songs from our solo records, uh, some of the bands that we've been blessed to be a part of. And, um, and we're going to tell some stories about how these songs were written. And i got to tell you all, too, um, this is our seventh year um, as, as Hoekster Gibbs, and we started this literally kind of as a, a thing that we would do when we didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> it really was. And um, we'd go out, have a good time, and I'd see him in six months, and we'd, we'd do it again. And because of you guys buying tickets and supporting us, um, this year, we're doing two international tours because of the vibe that's happening right here. So, a big thank you, and uh, I want to introduce over here to my right, your left, everybody, uh, a wonderful friend of mine, absolutely fantastic guitarist. I don't know about you, but I'm a fan of White Snake, baby. Everyone, this is my buddy, Joel Hoekstra. For those that don't know me, you're going to know me because I don't, sh I don't shut up. So, <laughs> we're going to get into it. And uh, so, this first song, this was a Devil City Angels song. Um, you guys are going to hear me talk a little bit about my, my upbringing. Joel raised me. No, he didn't. Uh, you're going to hear about my upbringing. And uh, there, was, there was an important, um, a, important group, and we'll get to that later. But in the Devil City, Devil City Angels, um, we wrote this. This was the fourth song on the record. And they said, well, what do you want to write about? I said, well, right now, in my current situation, I know about a girl that I like that likes the guy with more money. <laughs> and she uh, she keeps me in the friend zone. Have you ever been in the friend zone? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much my whole life. So she so uh, she goes out with the guy that's got more money. He's got a shinier black car than me. And uh, I wrote this song about that. In other words, Brett Michaels, I'll never forgive you, buddy. <laughs> This is called No Angels. Make some noise, everybody!
Look at this place. This is uh, just a beautiful spot. In fact, I'd like to propose an offer to the owner of this building. <laughs> we would like to be your house band seven nights a week all year for two point four. I thought you were going to say group sleepover tonight. Who's going to be thinking about that? Huh? Sleepover! Sleepover! <laughs> well, I can promise you the next time we come back, that's coming because they just bought a band house. So, uh, hey, drink that whiskey, folks. <laughs>